Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I love to help our customers make sense of their finances. It's not always easy and whenever you are focused on making money, sometimes it's hard to go back and try to understand those numbers. But we are here to help you understand your finances so you can make sense of your finances and make better decisions and hopefully grow your business to a level that you cannot imagine or maybe you can and you will and you will see the end results so understanding your finances is the key to your success I can't emphasize enough and I'm so happy and excited that you're spending the time here to understand your finances and grow your business okay here we go we're gonna be talking about uh, recurring transactions now one thing to remember is that recurring transaction is not available for all um, all clients so all subscriptions so only plus and advance uh, the two transactions that we're going to be talking about recurring transaction is um, invoicing and bill bill payment now keep in mind that when we set up in quickbooks to do the recurring payment um, and the uh, rec recurring invoices you want to make sure that once you receive the payment or when when you pay and a bill you need to record the, the bill payment and match it in banking so basically follow the workflow of each transaction in in the case of billing record the bill payment and match it in banking in the case of invoice, make sure you record the payment. If the customer is not paying through Quick, uh, QuickBooks Online, if he's just paying with uh, with a check or uh, with a bank transfer, you want to make sure that you record the payment on the invoice into undeposited funds and then record the deposit going into the bank and match it. <laughs> okay, just the regular workflow flow of the income transaction. So here we go, QuickBooks. All right, here we are. Okay. All right, so um, I'm actually there already. So let me get out of here and show you how I got there. Okay, top right hand side gear menu. Remember, we are using the accounting view. If you wanna switch to the business view, everything's gonna look a little different. So if you want to keep on accounting view or change it to accounting view, click on the gear menu, switch to accounting view and vice versa. So now we're going to go to all list and recurring transaction. That's one way to get there. And we're going to create first a bill. We're going to click on new and bill is the first option here. And uh, we, we're going to name this Internet Bill. We're going to create, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to make sure that we put the vendor. Um, why is it important to put the vendor, to add the vendor and the customer? Well, because um, if you want to run a profit and loss by by vendor you can do that and if you don't put your vendors you won't be able to it, you can run the report as far as according by customer if you're looking for your income but if you don't put the name of your clients in there you won't be able to so your book looks look look a lot better and um, and also you will comply with the requirements of the IRS in case you're audited knock on wood <laughs> but if you are don't fear basically the only thing you need to do is just to make sure you are prepared for that so keep your documents and your record um, and your records um, accurate um, not just for that purpose but mostly to be able to understand what's going on with your business like I said before all right so we're gonna uh, fill out this uh, form here. I'm going to say that this is a monthly expense and we're gonna set up a start date. We're gonna say that it's August 1st and there's no end date because this customer will continue on and on and on, right? You can set up terms 
um, if if uh, you have a 30-day term or something like that now keep in mind that the bill payment or the, uh, the billing recurring bill will not work if the amount will vary each month this only works when the amount is the same exactly the same once it changes you need to make sure you added your template okay so we're gonna put here that this is office expense okay oh uh, and I'm gonna say that it's a hundred dollars and I'm gonna save the template all right there it is so that's the bill so every month there will be an automatic bill for a hundred dollars and then once I have that bill in the system I want to make sure that I record the the payment. If anything changes, the only thing you want to do is just click on Add It. Okay, and then you can change. Let's suppose that the amount changed to one hundred and twenty dollars. It never goes down; always goes up. But <laughs> uh, okay, save template, and there it is. Now, if I have a duplicate. Uh, uh, template like I have it here I can actually make one of them I can delete it and then just keep one of them and and then we're good to go all right so now what about invoices kind of the same process we're gonna go ahead and click on plus and we're gonna click on the arrow right next to bill and invoice in here same situation here as far as the amount needs to be the same each month so if not then this is not going to work for you you want to make sure that this is a client that you provide the same service every month they pay you the same amount once that amount is changed you want to make sure you go into the invoice or the template the, and make the changes okay so we're going to call it John's John's invoice. I'm gonna select my client John Meldon. I'm gonna make it monthly and the start date we're gonna do it as August 1st uh, and keep in mind that if you need it to be weekly or daily you can do it or even yearly uh, but those are the two options. Okay, so monthly start date. I'm gonna do it now. This is the terms. If this client has terms of 30 days, you can just leave it there, and that's okay. And we're gonna select um, the services we'll be providing. Just gonna call service and we're going to charge $200 a month and if you have a discount that you want to uh, do it for the client you can put it over here and in another video I can talk about also setting up terms which is possible so that um, you can apply a certain dis discount to, cer to certain clients but not here and we're not gonna apply any discount or maybe set up a discount when the client pay within a certain time you can do it now there's a three options here uh, we can include unbilled charges automatically uh, or we can just not include those unbilled charges so just um, just the invoice that will come each month so we're gonna do automatically send emails for those of you who don't feel comfortable about that never fret don't worry about it you can always go into the invoices and then send them as a batch if you prefer this way but I feel pretty comfortable about this client and I'm okay because it's not going to the amount is not going to change and if it does change I'll go and edit it I'm gonna do automatically send emails and print later 
I can create a few days in advance if you'd like maybe five days in advance or I can just leave it like that okay we're gonna save template and there it is so if you need um, oh I'm gonna close this sorry <laughs> if you need to change that template no problem you can just go ahead right next to the template click on edit and then let's suppose that he has it edit services now it's four hundred dollars a month we can save that we'll change and um and save and there it is okay um but once again we we will create the invoice automatically but not the payment you still have to go record the payment into undeposited funds and then record the deposit and match it in banking just like we talked before so that's the whole process you want to make sure that you follow that okay now um keep in mind there are alternatives for um for for this so if you prefer not to do uh, automatically invoices that's fine too you you there's other options by doing it as unbuilt charges and then um run them all together as a batch so that that's one way for you to do especially if you have we can we can talk about that on another video there's so many subjects in quickbooks online but um this is recurring invoices and recurring billing so if you have a question please remember to write down below your question we can get to those questions fairly quickly now if you like this video give us a thumbs up down below <laughs> and subscribe to our to our channel we will be coming up with videos like that free tutorials on quickbooks online on a constant basis you know i gotta tell you back in the day when i started a long time ago i wish i could find videos like that and i didn't have the same resources so we had to go the hard way pave the, the, the way <laughs> and now i want you not to have to go through that and be able to find this information handy so if you want to just subscribe to your channel to your channel and we're going to bring to you the most updated information on quickbooks online and bringing you tutorials like this to help you be more efficient help you understand your finances and grow your business grow to the next level that's what makes me happy I want you to succeed and uh, I want to be part of that I'm so excited to hear from you how these videos can, is the, these videos are helping you in uh, reaching that goal okay well hope to see you soon but until next time keep on smiling enjoy your summertime and I'll see you later